Hey guys, Martin here with yet another late edition of unboxing the Loot Gaming Crate. Loot Crate Gaming? Loot Gaming Crate Gaming Gate. Gate? I don't know where Gate came from, but it, it snuck in there somehow. It snuck through the gate. But uh, I, I'm late once again with December's Loot Gaming Box for this month of the month of January, the first month of 2017, so welcome. And if you're interested in subscribing to Loot Crate in any form, uh, you can do yourself a solid, and you can do us a solid, by going to lootcrate.com slash littlecaribo, using the code CADGAMES, and getting 10% off a subscription. And you get it every month, and you don't have to wait almost the entire month to open yours. I do that for some reason, because I'm easily distracted and confused. But uh, I'm very excited as well. Not just distracted and confused, I'm also very eager to look what's in here. Oh, it looks like it's already been unsealed. Somebody's already done that for me, but it's not been opened. I can guarantee you that. Uh, oh, we got, oh, of course, the theme for this month is space. So that's very exciting. I imagine we might get some No Man's Sky in there. Uh, Luke Gaming, we've got the, the space map going on there with star charts and everything. It's very cool. We got t-shirt. The t-shirt's always very cool. That's always one of my favorites. We sell a lot of t-shirts with Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged, and uh, I have to say, it's always cool seeing some of the uber-professional looking ones. So what have we got here? We got, oh, N7. We've got Mass Effect. Very cool. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite t-shirt on my chest. That's really cool. I was always a big fan of Mass Effect, like, I, and it's very exciting that we've got Mass Effect Andromeda coming out. I bought an Xbox 360 specifically for Mass Effect. And I didn't know anything about Mass Effect, aside from the fact that it was Bioware developing a space RPG. And the last space RPG that they had developed, to my knowledge, was Knights of the Old Republic, which is my all-time favorite RPG. So Mass Effect, is, as a spiritual successor, is really cool. And now I get to wear it on my hairy body. And isn't that the dream? I believe it is. Okay, what have we got? We've got a poster. I think this is the, the, the theme poster for the month, so it's going to spoil a lot of the content, but it's the first thing that I grabbed. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna read off what's on, what's inside, but space. Obviously, these guys are exploring space. They brought some guns along, so they expect some threats out there. Won't they be disappointed when it turns out it's just a bunch of rocks? And uh, I'm never good at folding these. I'm just gonna do the rest of the video on this, boys. Subscribe to lootcrate.com slash littlecaribo using the code card games at checkout. You get 10% off a subscription. This is my astronaut voice. I'm not gonna keep using that. We got an XCOM 2. XCOM is a badass series. I've actually been playing those games uh, on some of my Patreon live streams and we used some of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge characters as the little soldiers that you, you set out to fight the, the aliens in those, the xenomorphs in those games. Is that what they're called? I forget. But I'm terrible at them. And now, <laughs> They're really cool games, but like with most turn-based like strategy games like that, is it strategy? I don't know. Most turn-based combat games, I'm really bad at thinking ahead, and you kind of need to think ahead with those games. But now I don't have to think at all, because I have my very own XCOM 2, and they told me what the aliens are called, chrysalids. <laughs> my very own chrysalid that I can put on my desk, and I can, I can be in Overwatch, not the game, the, the state within XCOM 2, and shoot at it whenever it enters my field of vision, automatically. And if you want it to enter your field of vision automatically, you can subscribe to lootcrate.com slash littlecaribo using the code CARDGAMES, and you get these delivered with 10% off your subscription to you every month, and, and that's really cool. It's like being in a turn-based Loot Crate strategy experience, like every month is the next turn and I'll send you their next deployment of, what is this? A towel of some sort? I'm pretty hype about that. I could use a towel because I'm sweating pretty hard trying to come up with things to say. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell. I might need to use the scissors because I don't have nails to save my life. Don't damage it, mine. Hang on. Oh. What have we got? It's an unwrapping in an unboxing video, so you got two for the price of one. Oh, oh, Mama, even mozzarella is it interested. What do you think, Mama? Is it a scarf? Do we have a scarf? And I'm gonna probably be a pillar and ask what the heck this is from. It's Bungie, so I'm assuming it's from, uh, what's that game? It's not Halo, <laughs> the other one. It'll come to me. I'm totally not cheating. 
Destiny! I knew it ended with a Y. <laughs> it's a Destiny scarf. Is it a scarf? <laughs> I have to look up what it is now. Scarf! Yeah, I got one part of it right. I got the I got the noun. I didn't get the adjective. The branding was was eluding me. But that yeah, I'm always I'm always in need of a scarf. Not so much out here in California, but anytime I take a trip to like the Midwest or England, I mean, it's always very cold, and I need to I need to wrap up warm, and that'll help. It'll be my destiny to be to have a toasty neck. Here we go. What's the final space themed item? Oh, well, it's not the final one, but we got a Ratchet and Clank. What is it? It's a Ratchet and Clank themed thing, which means it's automatically awesome because those games. I don't mind telling you, they've got a great sense of humor. Those games, like, long before anybody else was able to, somehow managed to capture the feel of playing, like, a Pixar movie, only having it be, like, an actual game experience. Like, I, I felt like a lot of games have tried it, and Ratchet and Clank was the first one to actually make it work really well. Uh, it's a weapon? <laughs> what is this? See, I, I don't know Ratchet and Clank nearly well enough to tell you what this is, but it's some sort of... Oh, it's a pen! It's a cool... It's a pen with a case that is designed based on one of the many creative and probably cheekily named weapons from Ratchet and Clank. I like their cheeky sense of humor. I'm going to find out exactly what it's called. What is it called? It's the Omni Wrench. It's not cheekily named, and I think it's one of the default items that you have. I think that, that uh, Ratchet has this, like, pretty much the whole time. I could be wrong. Correct me. Uh, any of you who are... Enthusiasts for the Ratchet and Clank series. I imagine there are a lot of you because those games are awesome. Uh, I just haven't played one in a long time. But that's really cool. It's a pen. I, I'm always in need of pens. And I know I said that about scarves, and I don't always need scarves. I always need pens because I'm always misplacing them. And good luck misplacing this, you know? <laughs> good luck with that. You're going to have a time. You're going to have, have to put a lot of effort into losing that. So that's, that's the Ratchet and Clank themed pen. That's really exciting to me. What else do we got? We got the final thing, we got the pin. The space pin. Ah! The December 2016 space pin, which has like a spaceship taken off in space. As it would, obviously. Well, taken off into space. It wouldn't take off from space. Unless we'd established some sort of interstellar transportation system where we have space stations where they would dock and then take off. Getting way too technical about pin. But that's why you came to this video. But thanks. Yeah, that's really awesome. And you got the, obviously, the, the rest of the, the space map in there. I could, if I was remotely handy, and we established from the last video that, that I did that I am not, and Caitlin attempted to build the other one, and it didn't go too well. But uh, you could construct this to be a, like a space-themed box where you got the map and the loot crate symbol on the, on the base there. That's really cool. Like I like I like the artwork there. That's really neat. But uh, yeah, space themed loot gaming box. I mean, in my opinion, you got the XCOM Chrysalid model, the T-shirt, the scarf. You pretty much you got all your bases covered. And there's a cat. The cats are wrestling over there. Guys, do you not like loot gaming crate? You don't have to fight over it. It's, I mean, it's great. You could just subscribe to lootcratecom slash karibo Use code card games. Don't get in a fight. They're in a fight! Guys! Loot Crate... Loot Game... Loot, oh no! LootCrate.com slash Lil Karibo Code Card Games, 10% off your subscription! You don't have to fight! You really don't! You really don't! You can fight in the games! I'm gonna have to call them off, but uh, thanks for tuning in! Uh, thanks for watching the, the unboxing video for Loot Gaming, that was really exciting, and uh, I'm definitely going to be using this Ratchet and Clank pen to write notes for my new Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridged episodes. That's going to be cool. I could use it. I'm the only one who can read my handwriting, so I know for a fact that nobody could look at my notes and know what I was planning. But yeah, LootCrate.com! Slash Little Karibo! Code Card Games! 10% off! Looking forward to the next one. Hopefully it won't be late. Probably will.